driving high speed for Brooklyn's final program in 1937. Shawfield Park, Glasgow is the battleground, but first, Victor McClaglin, tough guy of the screen, takes a bow. Also, Tommy Farr, who's done a bit of scrapping himself. Then battle commences, and Peter Kane is promptly socked by champion Benny Lynch. But the Liverpool lad, if you don't know him by now, you can tell him by the stripe on his shorts, gets a bit of his own back and gamely carries the fight to the Scottish holder of the flyweight titles of Britain, Europe and the world. These titles are at stake tonight. It's a night of rain, which even gets into the ring and makes the board slippery. But the fireworks provided by the boxers amply compensate the crowd, who witness one of the fastest and most thrilling fights for years. Kane is only 19, Lynch five years older. The experience of the champion stands him in good stead, and having cleverly fought his way through the whirlwind tactics of his opponent, he reaches the 12th round, complete master of the situation. From now on, it's a slaughter. Then he just hits Peter hard and keeps on hitting. With wonderful pluck, Kane refuses to go down for more than a second and contrives to survive the round, though out on his feet. Then the 13th and last round, the champion goes for the kill. You'd think Peter had had enough by now, but after a count of seven, he tries to carry on the fight. It's impossible, of course, and this is the end, except that Lynch retains his titles and Kane his reputation as the bravest of scrappers. fight's over, half Glasgow tries to inspect the pitch, and the champion has a second fight on his hands as soon as he's finished the first. But once again, he comes out on top. 